we talk about actually about themes in my work. Um, some of the I do um, multiple like I, I like a lot of different things. Like I said, so sometimes I, I enjoy landscape, so I do landscape drawing and image and painting and that sort of thing. Um, but I also like art that deals with uh, that has a message to it that deals with pertinent social issues. So I bring that to my work. I feel that I want my work to be aesthetically pleasing on some levels, but I want some work to make people think about things. And, uh, so a lot of my work will have layers of meanings and messages in them. Um, one reason I started using street art and graffiti in my work is because I really enjoy street art and graffiti. Um, the other reason is I use it as a visual, sort of a decorative element in my work, so I think it creates a unified surface. Uh, I use photographs of graffiti as filters for my artwork, so I get other layers of meaning. The other reason I use it is uh, it references the uh, policing policy of broken windows, which uh, grew out of stop and frisk in New York, which grew into stop and frisk in New York. And the idea was that if there were a, a blighted neighborhood, for example, if there were broken windows or graffiti on the walls, it was probably a high crime area. And that grew into, well, if it's a high crime area, anybody in that area is a criminal. And that turned into stop and frisk, and then that turned into the um, strangulation of Eric Garner on Staten Island. So I use the graffiti also as a reference to the broken window policy because the first step in broken windows was graffiti eradication. So that's what I mean by using multiple layers of meaning. So even though this doesn't overtly have a political message behind it, the subtext of it is definitely political. Very cool.